What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Out here on the lake today, just wanted to do something a little bit different. I got a big box in from Strike King, Mock, basically every color fire crawl bait you can get on the market. So got the fire crawl swim baits. We got the 4.8 inches. We got the 3.75s. We've got the fire crawl thunder crickets. We've got the fire crawl KVD 4.0 square bills. We've got the lipless crankbaits. We've got the 1.0 square bills, the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0 all go a little bit different depth. This is the 1.5. Um, we have the hybrid hunters, which have a little bit different of a bill on them. We got the 2.5. We also have the blade minnow, which is a good trailer to go on the back of the Thunder Cricket. This is a giant box, just slap full of different fire crawl baits. And my dad was gonna come out here with me today and I was gonna do a fire crawl challenge, but he ended up not being able to make it. So I figured I'd pick one or two baits out of this box, throw it around all day, do a fire crawl only challenge. And uh, I cannot promise, if I figure out a bait that they're biting on, I cannot promise that I will switch baits. Although I, I will try to throw things around that may not get included in the video if I don't catch any fish on them, but it's a fire crawl challenge. If you guys knew the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Any mock bait you guys want to save on, you can use the code msmock 10 on the mock website, save 10% off. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get uh, going. We're gonna drive to the other side of the lake. Should be a good day today. All right, guys. Well, the first bait of choice is the old fire crawl thunder cricket. And uh, as you can see, I've knocked a lot of the paint off, but got a little uh, four point, I want to say it's like a 4.8 or something like that. No, maybe it's the 3.8, but we're going to be throwing that around. I do believe they're in some shallower water up against the rocks. So um, about to go hit a spot real quick zipping on over there now. And uh, I've scoped around a little bit, seen some fish out deep. A lot of folks are fishing really deep right now and uh, that's just not where they're at. Well, actually some of them are. My, my dad found a spot the other day, he caught seven in one spot. So, but you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Thing about knocked the rod out of my hands. Ugh. Well, not a first bad one for the day. Three and a half pounds, maybe four. Did you guys see me stumble that rod? I'm lucky I got a good hook in him because uh, the rod was across my body sideways. <laughs> that thing's yellow. Okay, we got a. It's bouncing between 315 and four, so. It's right there, borderline four pounder. We're gonna put some water in here. I might have to take these gloves off because that's what's, these gloves are so thick, it made me almost fumble the rod, so. Just throwing this right against the grass, about as close as you can get it and normally three, four, five cranks, you're gonna get slapped. So obviously it's still super cold conditions, so I'm not expecting a lot. Few bites, but the few bites we get should be halfway decent. The water's a little clearer over here. Not sure if that's gonna help me, hurt me. It's slightly I get hung on that same tree branch every time I'm here and I forget about it every time I'm here. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my chances of catching a fish because last time I was here, I had a chonga on right in this area. Got his little butt. 
definitely wasn't the one I was hoping for, but I'll take it, man. That's two fish. That one choked it though. We'll call this one out if we don't catch a bigger one. Number two. Go ahead and close that bad boy in there. This next little hole, I haven't caught many in it, but this time of year, I've caught some sixes. So just kind of like throwing everything, all my bets in. Mondo, Mondo. Mondo, Mondo. Not a mega mega, but another one, three, three or so. I'll weigh it on the scale for you guys, just so you know I ain't lying. Three nine, third bass is three nine. Put it in the live well. I saw that thing pop out of the real shallow to get it. Waves were coming behind my bait. Come on now, I'm in a hot spot right here. The water's 48.3. It's the warmest I've seen it all day long. Getting back into a shallow pocket right here. This is the kind of spot they've been liking. what I tell you? This is the kind of spot they've been liking, boy. I told you. I don't, I don't steer y'all wrong. Oh man, I need to, I need to retie my line. That line's looking rough. Let me, uh, I'm gonna get out of here and come back to it cause I don't want to scare any fish away, but uh, I got some line tying to do. All right, officially fish number four, maybe a two, two and a half. Puts us slightly over 10 pounds for four fish. There we go. All right. Somewhere in here, I got some more, uh, there's my 17, my 15. This'll work. All right, just got my line retied. Zipping back over to the spot where I just caught that last one. I know there's more in here. I didn't want to spook them while I tied my line, so I left. Figured I'd come back. The water's still like 48.2 over here. Go ahead and dial this trolling water down. Right there is where I caught the last bass. Dirt shallow, guys. I'm talking 10 inches deep, 12 inches deep. A lot of folks are too scared to th throw this shallow during cold temperatures. I'm like, no, that's where they at. This is where they at. Slow rolling through there. Then I let the chatter, the thunder cricket fall just a little bit and I slow roll it. Da -na 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 -na. 48.4, it's warm, man. They ought to be here. Just gonna skip it right over the top of that log, right on the edge, come on. There we go. 
another three. <clears throat> the fire cricket, thunder, the, the fire crawl thunder cricket's just, well, maybe a two and a half. It's killing them today. <laughs> Can we get, can we get like a few more? And I want some chongas, man. There we go. Yes. Killing them today. This is my sixth one. I won't, I won't, uh, I won't live well anymore. I'll start calling them out, but there we go. Well, it's getting a little late in the day. Probably gonna head out to the main body of the lake, see if I see any fish. And then we'll be heading on pretty soon after that. And uh, might throw the A rig a little bit. I know it's not red. Well, I could put the red swim baits on it, but I wouldn't want to waste the five swim baits that are already on it just to tear them up to take, put five red ones on it. So we're gonna head out there, maybe catch a couple of fish and then uh, get a picture of the bag and leave. So let's get over there. This isn't fire crawl, but I've seen some fish hanging deep. I got to throw the Alabama rig. I got to, it's just standard. Standard procedure. Dang, I thought that thing was gonna go after it. Pretty sure I had a bite, but let's see if we can get these to bite. Those are probably bass if they're dead on top of the point. Oh, that little booger. These fish are biting. Whatever these are. I like it. I'm here for it. Got him. A couple of smaller bass down there. Following the A rig. See if we can get some more. There we go. There we go. Pretty good. Oh yeah. We're gonna call out a smaller one. Nice old. A rig bass. He was blind in one eye. I might have one smaller than that in there. Dude, they're everywhere over here. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go ahead and get the bag out. Here's a few of some of the best ones. Nothing crazy, but it's a little bad. We're gonna get a release. Alrighty, a couple of four pounders. Burrito them on in there. Two and a half. The three. You may be wondering, hey man, where'd you release them? Secret pocket, man, secret pocket. Got to get them ready to come back here and spawn so I can come back here and catch them again. But huh, guys, I think I'm getting a migraine. My head is split wide open, so I'm gonna have to head home. It's gonna be hard to even drive home. I get these uh, quite frequently, but fire crawl thunder cricket. 
you don't have it, you're definitely going to want to add it to your arsenal. I'm going to pull this, turn the pump on. There we go. Alrighty guys, that's officially the end of the video. I'm getting my boat ready for another fishing trip. Got a brand new lake I'm heading to, boat docks, electric only, gonna be wild. It's a community lake and uh, getting everything on my boat set up now. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button. Leave me a comment how you like the fire crawl challenge. Should I throw more than one bait next time? Let me know in the comments down below. Without any further ado, we're just gonna get this boat loaded up headed to the new lake pretty shortly. Stay tuned for the next video. Also, by the time this video comes out, I will be in Panama, Central America, slash South America. Gonna be doing a fishing trip out there, 10 days total, eight to 10 days, and uh, gonna be fishing in kayaks in the Pacific Ocean. Gonna be wild, so stay tuned. Wild things coming. Peace.